Good morning, West Monroe. I'm Brendan. I'm here with Emily, and we have your morning announcements. Before we start today's announcements, the golf team thought it would be helpful to explain what goes on into hitting a good shot in golf, a sort of golf for dummies clip. So here's a short video that might help. I've been asked many times, JC, what are your swing thoughts as you're swinging? What is, you know, what are, what are the secrets? What are the secrets of golf that pros know? Well, I heard this one time and I, I remembered it and it's really, if you'd write this down, it really helped. What I try to do, I try to flat load my feet so I can snap load my power package. That way I can amplify both lag and drag pressure through impact fix. As long as my number two power accumulator doesn't break down, I can reach maximum centripetal force with minimum pivotal resistance. You see, the pivot is the utilization of multiple centers to produce a circular motion for generating centrifugal force on an adjusted plane, plus the maintenance and balance necessary to promote the two-line delivery path. See, golf is geometrically oriented linear force. It involves a physical muscular thrust and a geometry of the circle. You can divide the golf swing into 24 basic components, each having between 12 and 15 variations. Now, when you think of all this and you get it all set, hopefully you'll hit shots like this. The West Monroe golf team played in their third tournament of the season at Frenchman's Bend on Tuesday. The boys took second place in the nine-hole tournament with James McMahon leading the team with a score of 39 and John Adam Lingefeld pitching in with a score of 41. Joseph McMahon and Chandler Van also scored and helped to secure the second place team finish. The West Monroe girls took first place in their division with Abby Lee and Harley Smelzer securing first and second place finishes respectively. Is that Harley or Haley? I think that's Haley. Did My I, apologies. I Haley. Sorry, Haley. Sorry, Haley. Their next tournament will be another nine-hole round this Friday at Chenault Golf Course, followed by a two-day tournament at Kowasati Pines. That's Kowasati. Kowasati. That's good. I like that. This weekend, that's going to be in Kinder. All right. Best of luck to our boys and girls golf team. Congratulations to Miss Christy Dunn and Miss Gretchen Lingefeld, two of our very own West Monroe High School art teachers who have been selected to paint a heron for the Herons on the Bayou Community Art Project. These unique heron sculptures will be six to seven feet tall and will stand in front of businesses, local hotspots, and other areas throughout the community. Over 100 local artists submitted more than 200 designs that were put on display so that the 50 participating sponsors could choose one to represent their business. Each heron will be hand-painted by the artist and will include a plaque dedicated to the sponsoring business or organization. The herons will, re will be revealed to the public June 2019. Hmm. Mrs. Dunn is painting a heron titled Warhawk Heron, which will be placed outside of Homeland Bank in Monroe. Ms. Lingefeld is painting a heron titled An Affinity for Architecture, which will be placed outside of Floor Works in West Monroe. They are honored to be chosen from among such stellar artists and designs and are excited to get to work on their herons. Stay tuned for a sneak peek as their herons come to life. Also, Ms. Lingefeld's art classes have been chosen to participate in the Vans Custom Culture Shoe Design Contest. She is one of only 500 art teachers in the nation to have been chosen to submit designs for the contest. The students are ready to begin creating templated designs that end up on the Vans shoes that have already been shipped to them by the company. The selected student designs will then be painted on the shoes by four lucky students. Then they will be photographed and the photos submitted to the Custom Culture Contest by March 26th. 28th, excuse yeah, 28th, yeah. me. We will keep you updated on their progress as designs are chosen for the contest. Best of luck to these art students. I think I'm going to give me some van shoes. I'd be cool in that. Van shoes. I'm down with that. Yeah, I'm good. If you will be a junior or senior next year and you're interested in biology, ULM has an excellent opportunity for you. The pre-college summer research program takes a limited number of applicants through two weeks of hands-on research involving molecular biology. It studies proteins, bioinformatics, tons of stuff. Students can earn college credit during this all expenses paid program. That means you don't have to pay. See Mrs. Cabin for more information. And now for our weekly K-Rev Off the Air. Hey man, how was your weekend? What'd you do? Oh, that's pretty good. Um, a bunch of my family came over and we had like a little barbecue thing. So we had like hamburgers, hot, hot dogs, corn on the cob. Oh dude, good. hot dogs are literally probably my favorite sandwich. Love those. They're so good. Okay. Uh, so let me ask you this. Do you value your life? Y yeah, I'd say so. Why do you ask? 
Okay, if you value your life, you will never say that hot dogs are a sandwich ever again. Do you understand? What do you mean? Hot dogs are not a sandwich, Brendan. They're literally not. I don't understand what this new idea is where everyone is saying, no, sit down. Okay, sit okay. down. Hot dogs are not a sandwich, Brendan. Do you get that? Can you get that through your skull? Leave. Leave right now. Faster, come on. Okay. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. A sandwich? No. 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 Absolutely not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Sandwich. <laughs> yeah. No, that was a dumb question. No, no. Hot dog is not a sandwich. It is a hot dog. Yes. Yes. Sure it is. Yes, because it has two pieces of bread and meat in the middle. It is a sandwich. It's meat between bread, so yeah. Hot dog is sandwich. I mean, it's kind of the same thing because it's made of same stuff, so I don't know. Like, it's a different country, but... Sandwich from a different country, so. Um. Uh. I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's say that you flip it on its side, and you, you can be whatever you want it to be. Technically, yes, but no. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on what what it is and all the stuff that you put in it, you know. I mean, is a pop tart a sandwich? It's some. It has two bits of bread on the side and stuff in the between. There's a lot of things that define a sandwich. So, is a hot pocket a sandwich? Nothing is real. Hey, sir. Huh? Do you think hot dogs are a sandwich? Code 144, he knows, he knows. Well, that is all we have for you today, Rebels. Have a greater day than yesterday. Bingo.